design, you need to think about what your machine is capable of achieving. This will depend on factors including the throat depth of your machine, the maximum thickness your machine can roll, as well as the tooling you have available. For this project we're using a 45 degree stepped roll. A motor powered machine can be an advantage, as well as a material support table but neither are essential. Guides can be useful, especially with larger projects. Here we've plasma cut some templates out of 3mm steel. Now we're running multiple passes around the guide, applying more pressure with each pass until the desired depth has been achieved. Once the first panel has been completed, we repeat the entire process to make a second panel. This panel will be put to one side for now, as it's going to form the lid of an underfloor storage section. Without pre-stretching the steel, distortion is almost inevitable when bead rolling. In this next part, we'll shape the panel to fit the truck bed, which should remove this distortion.
In this second part, we're now going to use a different kind of metalworking machine because now we want to make this floor removable. Here Matt's fitting rib nuts into the chassis and cross members, which will allow him to bolt the floor section in. Every single time I do it, I'm like, that was too much.